Hello guys, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel. This video about the setup of K0 Pro onto the mining rig that I used to have GPU. It's a self-made rig, so it's pretty ugly. Uh, they don't pay attention. You may have nicer rigs that you can utilize. This is about the actual uh, power consumption, uh, the connection of the internet, and this video about the how possibility of overclocking the system to 360 gigahash if this is capable to handle on the server PSUs and the step up boosters uh, those converters DC converters so from 12 to 19 volts so let's take a look on the uh, let's start from our Caspa price and network hash rate for a second here so we are at 87 pent hash oh my gosh it's almost 88 it's keep on growing it was just 80 yesterday or this morning it just keep on jumping i guess new miners getting delivered over weekend connected so we'll get more next week so my guess we're gonna get quickly to 100 pent hash probably a lot quicker than we predicted than i predicted before the price of caspa hoovering around 13.8 cents 13.9 close to 14 cents now which is really good and the next reduction of caspa 247 caspa per block in four days so um let's take a look what we've done what different on the system compared to k0 rig the only really difference is the location of ethernet cables they're on the opposite side now they used to be next to the power on the same side where the power probably on the bottom here. So we had reverse our Ethernet switch and I used this 18 inch patch cables, uh, CAT6, just to connect them. I don't need any long cables, then we can wrap them up after all connected and organize this, do a cable management, make it nice and neat. Uh, now it will be uh, two sets of the fans uh, on each of these controllers. There are uh, temperature controllers that control the speed of these fans. Um, so we'll have the four fans on one controller, three fans on the other controllers. I think it's totally fine. The middle of the, uh, one of these middle miners gonna have the sensor just going into this um, body of the aluminum body that gonna read the temperature and they're pretty much nicely set up that you don't need to adjust anything there is a more advanced controllers that you can actually set your desired temperature on which you're going to control the fan speed of your um, of your device or your setup these are preset and they work nicely you can just kind of play around with location of your sensor in order to get optimal uh, speed for this um, uh, system you know the fan system now these fans are really quiet I really like them they're only one watt right now power consumption at this speed what they do probably half speed or even less 30 percent right now because it's really cool here and these heaters at the hundred watt I mean this KS Pro on the stock firmware doesn't really get hot a lot so there's two fans one on each even vertically positioned really does not work at the uh, full speed even 20 or 30 percent i think speed right now now let's take a look at temperatures uh, what we've got here at the bottom of our uh, miner is only getting hottest point probably 85 oh going to the top is about 95 so right there it's about 34 degree celsius going on the top side uh, let's switch top section of the miner is about 92 93 probably hottest is the closer to the end roughly at around 95 I had some reading of uh, 95 right here here you go 96 and it's about 36 degrees Celsius so not really hot really just warm to touch our connectors Temperature about the same, but 95, 93, 95. So very close at around 95, 94 at the connector. The reason I'm measuring temperature of the connector because as soon as we get overclocked, we are actually gonna increase our power here double 
so it will be going from 100 watts to 200 watts which eventually it's going to increase our amperage load on these connectors which i was really worried about it but luckily i have these meters connected and these power meters at 19 volt we only consuming 8.66 amp for two miners you could see there are two connected to this uh, converter because it's designed for 380 watts and we only use in 168 165 watts not even half you know less than the half of this so really nice uh, the only 8.6 amp meaning if we overclock this to 360 gigahash at 200 watts we are probably going to only load it to 8.6 amp to these connectors which is really great because those connectors actually maximum designed to 10 handle 10 amp so my hope is they're not going to get overheated so that's the main point there nothing else gets overheat the power um, converter gets uh, ventilated really nicely there and at 12 volts uh, side we get in 14.75 amp for our 2k0 pro which means seven roughly seven and a half amp almost right for each device now it is safe probably to connect I would assume and I did already test it directly without overclocking to the, the just a, a stock firmware connect directly from here to our uh, miner at 12 volt and it did work i already tested it out so if you're not planning on overclocking you probably can utilize just your power server psus or other 12 volt psu and connect all your uh, miners to that power supply and actually it's using a little bit less power and the outlet at your wall so right now it's the uh, the readings are 207 watts for two miners ethernet switch and two of these meters they consume about one watt each and two of the fans one watt each so we are roughly using four watts here plus three watts seven watts extra of the power that brings us down to 200 watts even just for the ice river pro which is really um, to the specs of these miners uh, what else on this system that's the um, pretty much it for the design it's really ugly rock It's just a uh, handmade I just used it from aluminum angles and the screws uh, it's kind of adjustable so I adjusted the height the way I need it um, and utilize this uh, and just to put these converters on the other end so all the heat uh, the fans blowing out the air cooling down these uh, converters as well but I don't want to put them down below because the only airflow is kind of coming on the top. So hopefully it get, usually gets enough insulation on my other rig without no issues. Now, let's take a look on the uh, power cables that I use. So I use this Autoc, obviously China made uh, cables, but it's Germany design and it's really high quality cable, you know, guys, it's really nice. I do recommend if you are planning to utilize any of your power supply using these cables with XT60 connectors. Those are really great uh, quality connectors, the XT60 that you can buy, not very expensive. You can either have them uh, soldering tight just like that loose or already with the piece of wire then you can utilize the other type of connection and um, yes you can uh, create your own uh, type of connection from 12 volts or from 19 volt system uh, for ethernet i'm using 18 uh, inches it's one and a half foot touch cables that i don't need any longer I think already we went through that and also I'm using the uh, XT60 connectors to get the from uh, my power supply breakboard to my uh, converter and then same way from converter to Ice River Pro. So that's pretty much it for the video. I'm gonna show you real quick my stats after we are 
been here I moved on the table this miners let's take a look real quick we are at two but uh, one hour now here I wanted to run for a while so we can take a temperature peak and see if anything heating up so we are really good on the temperatures uh, we are uh, getting roughly on my first one 27 199 giga hash on my second one it's usually a little bit lower average 197 205 minute and about one hour so let's take a look at the temps our temps is 56 33 input 56 output on my first device and my second one is uh, where are we 52 35 input 52 output and that's about 50 percent of the fan speed right there so we're holding up at the 50 percent and the fans probably running uh, this external fans around 20 or 30 percent speed so right now because it's a cooling environment i believe here we are about 65 degree in the room uh, temperature so if it gets hotter in the room then obviously the speed of the fans gonna change this speeds fans gonna go a little bit faster because of this uh, temperature sensors right there uh, that I set up down in the rig in the actual miner so if it get hotter it will blow more air to cool it down so I think that's pretty much for this video if you guys have any questions uh, <coughs> You can leave a comment below if you set up similar system or something more advanced and maybe help me to uh, redesign it. Um, so yes, my Ethernet works directly. I connected to my server PSU 1200 watts uh, on 220 volt system and uh, 900 watts on 110 volt uh, uh, plugs and obviously this guys it's at five volts so i had to put a little converter uh, that you can buy online from 12 so i had to design 12 volt to five volt little converter and uh, hook it up to ethernet uh, a switch so that's very simple design nothing no more extra power lines no extra it's only one ethernet cable coming in so you don't need to run multiple like all seven like you're gonna have all seven this ice river pro setup and i only gonna utilize this little cables i don't need to run all seven ethernet from my switch somewhere else so i'm trying to get this uh cables uh and the power supplies imagine if i have eight seven power supplies lying around and just a lot of the power supplies, a lot of heat coming from them, a lot of wiring from them, and then you have to connect to multiple, you know, your P P PS uh, power strips or something like that. Anyway, I'm just using only one power plug, and I'm gonna switch it to probably 240 volt uh, plug because this this server PSU you don't need to worry, just plug it in where you have the power outlet either 240 or 120 now um, 19 volt converters obviously i set up just to be able to upgrade uh, my firmware or overclock firmware to the 360 possibly giga hash if that's going to be available uh, it's been still tested as soon as t-swift have it available I'll be testing it out. I'm not sure if whole full 360 will be actually available or what I'm hearing is the there's going to be several version, probably 300, 340 or something like that and then 360 uh, similar to what was done to KS0. Um, that's pretty much it covers that video. I don't think we have anything else to say. Uh, just yeah, let me know about uh, Leave the comment below if you like the setup, if you're doing something similar, uh, consider subscribing to my channel for more videos. I'm gonna be overclocking these guys probably soon, as soon as I can get a hold of that firmware. And first I'm gonna test probably my uh, cables to make sure these connectors do not overheat when I load them to 200 watts. So this is my only main concern. 
I do have enough the power uh, converters to get them to 200 capable to handle in 200 watts and I have one like uh, 532 watts and this is 380 watts so I can hook it up to my K0 Pro overclocked possibly to that one converter um, uh, I do gonna use extra power supply to the 12 volt system because it's gonna be higher amperage it's gonna reach at 400 amp probably 37 amp so we're gonna take the load of this cable wires and uh, to keep them cool um, so yes that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching and uh, see you on the next one